students from Cavite State University, General Trias Campus. So we are taking Bachelor of Science in Psychology. So today we are going to present to you the classical conditioning of Ivan Pablo. At gagamitin namin ang aking aso na si Negi! Say hi Negi! So guys, ready na ba kayo? So let's start! Classical conditioning was introduced by Ivan Pavlov, who is a Russian psychologist. Classical conditioning is the act of conditioning someone to behave in the behavior that we want them to portray. It is the association between the environmental stimuli and the organism's response. Before we understand deeply the classical conditioning, let's unlock first the unfamiliar terms that we need to know. First, unconditioned response. It means unlearned. Second, stimuli. It is the things or event that will produce reaction. Third, response. It is the interpretation or the reaction. Classical conditioning has five parts. These are unconditioned stimulus, unconditioned response, neutral stimulus, conditioned stimulus, and conditioned response. For us to deeply understand what classical conditioning means, we will present to you an example that Ivan Pavlov used to show what classical conditioning is. So, this experiment is all about conditioning the dog to eat whenever it hears the bell. The bell serves as a signal during eating time. Unconditioned stimulus. This is a naturally occurring stimulus that leads to an involuntary action. Ibig sabihin nito, ito yung bagay na nagdudulot ng kusa o natural na reaksyon ng isang tao o hayop. Sa experiment, ang ginamit na bagay ay ang meat or food na siyang nagproduce ng unconditioned or unlearned response ng dog. Unconditioned response means the reflexive response to a stimulus. When we say reflexive, it happens automatically. It was automatically produced. Neutral stimulus. It means it didn't mean anything. It does not yet produce automatic response. Sa experiment, ang neutral stimulus ay ang bell. Nung nakita at narinig ng aso yung bell, wala naman siyang pakialam. That's why it didn't mean anything. Malay niya ba kung ano yun? Dahil first time niya palang nakita at narinig ang tunog nito, hindi niya alam ang purpose ng bell. So, neutral stimulus can become a conditioned stimulus when paired with an unconditioned stimulus. Neutral stimulus plus unconditioned stimulus equals conditioned stimulus. Conditioned stimulus means the stimulus that becomes able to produce a learned reflex response. Ibig sabihin nito, itong meat and bell ang magiging dahilan para magproduce ng learned response ang dog. Yun na nagkaroon ng sense at purpose sa dog ang bell dahil ipinartner sa meat na maglilid sa conditioned response. Ang conditioned response ay kapag narinig na ng aso ang bell, alam niyang kakain na siya. Conditioned response is a learned reflex response to a conditioned stimulus. Let's do it again. Before the conditioning Unconditioned stimulus is the food or the hot dog. Salivation is the unconditioned response. The neutral stimulus. During the conditioning. Meat plus bell. is 
the condition stimulus. And after the conditioning, the well is equals to condition response.